For the last 10 years, Dr. Jeremy Torstveit has spent his vacations in Sri Lanka, the island nation near India, once known as Ceylon. Like many surgeons, he has a reputation for being a cool, difficult, and talented perfectionist. He is obsessive about his life's work, repairing heart defects in children. In this country, such operations have become almost routine. But 10 years ago, on his first vacation to Sri Lanka, Dr. Torstveit discovered that his specialty was virtually unknown there. Children born with heart defects simply died, thousands of them, every year. For this driven doctor, that was just unacceptable. Since then, he developed a new obsession, performing heart operations on children who have no chance to live without them. Torstveit is a cardiac surgeon who gives children born with severe heart defects every reason to expect a normal life. Everything's in place in the United States for heart surgery. So what else can I do? You know, I don't build roads. I don't teach school. This was a natural thing for me to do. At the National Hospital, the waiting list for children with heart defects numbers over 2,500. Torsfight learned about all of this from Dr. Dudley Halpy, a colleague in Phoenix who is a native of Sri Lanka. He encouraged me to come and uh, see if, if it was possible to operate on the literally thousands of children that were dying of heart disease untreated in this country. Torsfight usually comes twice a year at his own expense, participating in 20 to 30 operations a week as surgeon or instructor. Most of his time is now devoted to training Sri Lankan doctors in the life-saving procedures. Three surgeons perform 400 operations a year, free of charge. Tuesday, 6 a.m. This time a week is all Dr. Torsvai can spare from his busy Arizona practice. A week to travel there, work, and fly back, halfway around the world. The sun is rising over the Indian Ocean. Never mind that tourist fight has been flying for 27 hours now. Time to get going. You don't have a lot of time to waste. And I feel fine, so I'm ready to go. Never mind that for tourist fight, it's 3 a.m. body time. The beleaguered staff wants a few minutes with him, always a morale boost. Everybody you meet here uh, is that I've run into, that I've worked with, everyone is so genuine that um, you really miss them when you don't see them. And they are your family, and uh, you want to get back and see them. I came from a family that believed in giving, and really giving a lot. Uh, we weren't people that gave on Sunday. Uh, we normally gave till it hurt. We believed in, in helping people out, and there's always a way. There's always a way to find a way to help people out. And I think I grew up with that tradition, and I think that I felt that I should do this. For the last three days, Tours Fight has been trying to find the best candidate for the first surgery on Monday. Just put a name down there and what you're going to do yeah. next to that. Yeah. Heart defects often pass detection in Sri Lanka until too late. He looks for a child whose correction won't be complicated, a case that after surgery will enjoy a quick transition through intensive care. Torstveit finally finds his candidate, the one child he can help the most. He selects a farmer's daughter who has a hole in her heart. She's called Nadisha. No, she's a straightforward uh, case. That's why we selected that girl. And she has wa uh, waited in the waiting list for two years. Monday, 8 a.m., Dr. Aramasima will perform the operation with Dr. Torsveit assisting. This senior surgeon for the National Hospital trained three years at Oxford University. Nadisha's father carries his precious cargo to the operating theater from Ward 25. Now we are getting the intravenous lining. This very simple operation will allow this child to have children, grow up, have a normal life, statistically. 
and without that, uh, this child would be having significant problems uh, fairly soon. This is a very large defect. And this is why heart surgery is so economical in the long run. This little girl spends three or four days recovering, and that's and she's fixed forever. If it is all right, go on on one, cool to 32, please. Drop you off low, please. Or clamp it off. We're just making sure there's no air inside the heart. Okay, we're going to come off the heart lung machine now. Okay, go ahead. The hole in Nadisha's heart is fixed. It's almost time to head home. Everything went fine. Everything went fine. Nadisha. I truly believe that you can get a ripple effect in reality, a, a really, truly a, a tangible ripple effect. And I think you can show other people that this can be done. Nadisha. You know, what I've found here is that th this has uh, been rewarding to me beyond measure. Um, this, the rewards have been far greater than the sacrifices. Rabbit. Can, can she smile? The attitude of, well, you know, it's too much, there's too much to do, never will work. You have to just dig in and go. Since those vacations to Sri Lanka began 10 years ago, his priority has changed from performing surgery himself to training the doctors and nurses there in his specialty. In so doing, the ripple effect of his gift, his obsession, is that much greater.